Hey y'all, I am back with another video today. Oh, it's not a good one. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? It was worse before. It was like, oh my god. I don't know if I'm getting in there close enough. It melted. Like, it was kind of like yellowish brown spots here. And I tried to brush it out. It fucking melted. My jam here melted. So I did a review on this wig, Lux Hair Shop, and it was an honest review. And I genuinely was like, this is an amazing wig. I fell in love with it, the color, the style, like it was just freaking cute. And I'm gonna have to revise that because a girl had reached out and a comment said, do not buy from them. I had a bad experience. They are synthetic wigs. Warning on my rig review. And I said like, I felt like it was real hair. I was able to straighten it and style it and whatever. But yo, your hair should not melt when you blow dry it. Like that does not happen on my real hair wigs. And that happened here. And real hair would like shrink up into a ball. And this shit just freaking melted. So I have to say that girl must have been right. So I'm really sorry if you bought a wig from there. I mean, at least they were cheap, but you can get away with it if you don't style it, but damn, like, this is unacceptable. I do not support uh, selling wigs saying that they are real human hair if they are not. And honestly, this now with the experience I have, because I didn't have as much experience back then, it does feel different in comparison. It feels more, how to say this? kind of plasticky like it kind of feels like real hair but it's a little bit more of a plastic feel than the real hair so i wouldn't have noticed that you wouldn't notice it i don't think at first buying but yeah this shit it's probably that synthetic hair that you can actually style and put some heat to just not too much so yeah this all just like melted off i started brushing it and it just came out and there was like literally brown spots here and i was like oh my god and like my first instinct was to try to like get rid of it and see if it was good before I took the video, but I'm hoping you guys can like see the damage here. It's bad and it feels like shit now. I'm like that'll probably all fall out or break at some point. Like it's melted. So it didn't just burn off, it melted. This is definitely synthetic. So the only way that I'm gonna be able to like style this now, which is honestly the way that it looked cutest is like this. I'm gonna have to buy like a new wig obviously in this color because I adored this freaking wig but in real hair so I can still probably put it up like this and get away with it and you won't actually see the damage that happened but dang I do not support that uh, company selling synthetic wigs claiming that they're real not okay shame on you you do not have my support anymore and uh, yeah that's a wrap Anyways, definitely had to let you guys know what happened because it's totally not okay on my books and in case anybody was going to purchase from them, I would definitely say if you want a cheap synthetic wig, go for it. However, I know a supplier, Touchdown Hair Studios here in Grand Prairie, it's local. You can actually just purchase the same freaking wig from them as a custom order and you can get it basically at the same price and it'll be real hair and actually you'll have 250 density, not just 150. So that's my suggestion. If you want their contact, let me know. Anyways, peace and love, y'all. Have an amazing day. Mwah. And subscribe.